Hello, this is Lady, and today is October 24th, 2015. I know you are watching this video sometime in November, but I had to go ahead and record my thoughts on some sing, some cry. I participated with many of you as we read this book through the month of October, along with Steve Reed's books and Brown Girl Reads. I read the book from the 28th to the 21st. I really enjoyed this book. And I, let me just say this. I have been trying to give a good review and I have recorded my thoughts more than once on this book. But it all just came out like rambling because this book covers a lot. This book covers seven generations of a family. And it starts from a reconstruction period after the end of slavery till current day seven generations so i'm just gonna give make this in short and sweet i enjoyed the book and i'm going to say just a few things about it so here we go like I said earlier, this book covers seven generations of one family. The matriarch in the family is Betty Mayfield, who has three daughters, two by her slave master and one by a black man. The book opens up with Betty Mayfield leaving the plantation with her granddaughter Eudora as they are planning to move or they are moving to Charleston to live with her daughter Blanche. Her daughter Blanche is living well off with her husband, her two children, and a stepchild. So when Betty Mayfield and Eudora get there, the story just ensues from there. The story was awesome. The author did a great job of giving us a, or should I say the authors did a great job of giving us a complete story. I love when a book gives us background information on even the minor characters that the main characters come into contact with. And it just just meshes the book together, just makes everything complete. Um, I think that it was also very good that the authors included actual people from history. Even though this was a work of fiction, the characters came into contact with people who were actually in history. You know, real people. So that was fun. Um, Betty Mayfield's family consisted of mostly women. I don't think the first grandson or great-grandson showed up until like the third or fourth generation. And these women were just strong women. I really enjoyed them. I really liked many of the characters. I just adore Eudora. Eudora who grows and ends up having two girls of her own and oh her story is just I just love it and I just love the stories of each generation someone from each generation just became my favorite character as the book went on um I liked that music was in the book music as the title would say I grew an understanding of the title after reading the book so I'm seeing meaning in Ma Betty, that's what they call them, Ma Betty, her family is musically inclined. Whether it's singing, dancing, instruments, whatever, music plays a huge role in the lives of each generation. They, the music takes the family from Charleston to Harlem, Chicago, to um, Fisk University in Tennessee. Yeah, and even Paris and several countries in Europe. And I've really enjoyed that. You got to see the history of black music through this book. The sum cry portion is the fact that there was a lot of heartache with this family, which is to be expected in the time frame that it encompassed. We got to witness the growth in each generation of her family from both world wars to the Vietnam War. You got to see from Reconstruction and elite culture of African American people. And then you got to see the Civil Rights Movement. And I enjoyed it. It was just a complete book and it was a lot so i don't want to you know give any spoilers away i thought it was a good book and i think 
it comes highly recommended by many people. So I'm seeing some cry was an awesome read. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I participated in this read along. This book has been on my TBR for far too long, but now I have conquered it. I think part of the reason by being so big, you know, we tend to, you know, shy away from those these big clunkers, but it was so worth the read. I just love books that show the resilience and the strength of black people after slavery and I love family sagas so if you have not read this book I recommend that you do if you did participate in the read-along let me know below and share with me some of your favorite parts in the book hopefully by the time I post this many who participated in the read-along will have finished it so we can discuss it in my comment section after we've already participated with the live discussion with Brown Girl Reads and Steve Reed books. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. And again, I thank you all for watching this video. This is Lady, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.